What's up, YouTube? It's me, DrummerBoy0109, and today, guys, I am here with a texture pack review. Yes, a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing B00's texture pack, but in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure you do drop a like and leave some support. If you're wondering who B00 is, he is a MCPC YouTuber, very, very good at building, so I suggest you guys go check him out. Link will be posted down below in the description, also with a link to this texture pack down below. At the end of the video, I I will have a tutorial and also I want to say thanks J play I think it is JP plays or J plays PE uh, for allowing me to use this map and review a texture pack um, so yeah I apologize for getting your name wrong um, but yeah J plays PE so yeah let's go ahead and jump into this texture pack review all right guys so right here we have different types of logs and the logs are awesome but the planks for them are a lot cooler so if we have the jungle right here the jungle wood has a greenish tone I definitely like that and I like the dark oak wood how it is a lot browner than the original it looks really nice and I love the saturation of the acacia wood now if we move along over here we have diorite andesite and granite and we have them in their chiseled forms a lot different than the MCPE version and I definitely love the uh, change here it looks a lot better than the MCPE version on this walkway you can see cobblestone you're probably wondering what this is that is brick so the brick looks like cobblestone um, but it just has a pink tone to it uh, sort of similar to the granite um, but I do I will let you guys know that is brick so if we move on over here we have a bed the bed is pretty nice uh, the reason I like the bed is because it kind of looks like you just got out of bed the um, the setup of the texture is not like plain and boring like MCPE. I love this. I would definitely love to have that in my own MCPE texture pack. And then we have the hay bales. Pointed out the hay bales because they actually look like hay bales. The color and the saturation looks like they were just picked and kind of like a like a some end of summer um, beginning of fall look. Love that. I love it so much. Now we're going to move over here. Uh, you're probably wondering what this crate thing is. It is actually a note block. You can see I'm touching it right here. There's the notes so the note block kind of just looks like a crate um you know you would like ship stuff in uh but i i like how that changes and then we have the um we have the chest now the, i don't know why the chest kind of looks uh, it looks different than regular wood um but you know it's still it's kind of it pops out definitely with the um outside edges so yeah there's the chest now on this wall we have a bunch of different things um the things that change that i really like are the lava buckets since um you know iron is changed in this so you can see all the iron tools and stuff have like a darker look and the iron armor has a darker look so obviously you got to make the iron bucket and the ingots uh, have a darker look as well more like iron in real life I'm pretty sure and um, there's the iron sword at the top but I definitely think that it makes the water and the lava stand out a lot better and um, over here we have a furnace now the furnace is looking like a real furnace something you can actually hurt yourself in not like the plain Minecraft furnace and um, so yeah there's that and I definitely I keep saying definitely that is the word of the day guys definitely comment that down below Low. Um, but we have the Steve head looking like a uh, B double O. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So there's the Steve head. Now we move. I right, actually, yeah, that does look like him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Now we're gonna move over here. We have. Um, we have the enchanting table and we have the books surrounding it. Um, bookcases. The enchanting table has a, like a nice like blue to it. I love the uh, tool. The what is it turquoise I guess or like a teal look yeah teal um, the teal blue that is on top of the actual enchanting table um, but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and just fly around here just so you can see a bunch of other things uh, textures that change I'll point out we have the uh, red sand here uh, so there it is it's kind of like a pinkish color like a like a salmon I guess that's what it's supposed to be red sand let me go ahead and look at it real quick. Yeah, red sand. So it's a, like a salmon color to it. And then we just move around. There's not really much more that has changed. This is a couple things that have made this a look a lot sleeker. And um, and then this black right here, by the way, is netherrack. So if you are wondering, yeah, that is definitely... Um, no, nether bricks, not netherrack. Sorry, this is netherrack. This is nether brick. Um, but yeah, guys, here's the glass. And then 
yeah there's glass and it surrounds it's a little bit different on the beacon uh, so the beacon has the glass and it all the beacon doesn't change inside but it has the glass on the outside um, but yeah guys that's pretty much it there's a bunch of other stuff that probably changed but I'm not gonna review that because you guys can figure that out on your own but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install this texture pack all right guys so and to install this texture pack or resource pack what you're going to need to do is go down below in the description and you can see right here it takes you to mcpedownload.com slash b resource pack and all you have to do is just scroll down you can look at the pictures you can look at the original video by b on his resource pack which is on pc um so if you want to check that out um but all you have to do and this is on android by the way as how i'm showing you all you have to do is you go down to download resource.mcpack so we're going to go ahead and click that and then it's going to go ahead and take us to a media fire link so you just want to click on download now you guys can do this on ios i am showing on how to do on an android uh, so i'm sorry if you are an ios fan or you're using ios right now um so yeah you can see right there it has bdubspe.mc pack it's not going to say a one it only says a one because i downloaded multiple times uh, so this is my second time and then also what you're going to need is a file manager now i use es file explorer i'll make sure to have that down below for you guys um but i use es file Explorer, you just want to go into it and you want to click download and this is where you're going to find your b-dubs p-e-m-c pack now make sure you have minecraft pocket edition open that is very important so you're going to go ahead and click on b-dubs p-e and you're going to click it and then what's going to happen is it's going to say imported importing and it's going to import the texture pack um, so you can see right at the top it says started importing resource pack b-dubs and it's going to say, it's not going to say failed because it only says failed for me is because it's a duplicate pack. So you'll be able, it'll say that it is installed and then you can go into a world. So we're going to choose future right here and you want to edit it or you can create a world, go to resource pack and then you'll see B-dubs. You want to click add and then we'll add the resource pack. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that shader pack right there. And we're going to kind of click play and then it will take you into your world it will load the resource pack and you should be good and be able to use it so saving world resource packs it's going to load syncing the pack with the server building the terrain and it should come up right here so you can see guys i am here in minecraft pocket edition and i have the texture pack installed and also i want to say look at this brick it looks so sick i didn't even notice that the brick changed um but yeah that's pretty much it guys if you guys did enjoy make sure you do drop a like and leave some support i'm sorry that my voice is a little subtle today i'm feeling kind of sick um but i hope you guys understand that um but yeah that's pretty much it see you guys and gals and stay cool bye